Hey everybody, let's talk about paramagnetic rock. Paramagnetic rock is normally volcanic, granite, uh, gray basalt is generally what people are talking about when they say paramagnetic rock. Paramagnetic rock is when your soil is, or rock that is attracted to a magnet is paramagnetic, rock that is repelled from a magnet is diamagnetic. Now, paramagnetic rock has many values if you're mixing a soil. It is going to make your soil much more insect repellent, actually. It's going to make it more hardy against frost and drought. It is going to uh, increase your uh, nutrient utilization. It's going to have microbial stimulation. Uh, it's going to make soil more water retentive. It's also going to increase your seed germination. And uh, it's going to, it's basically going to help the nutrients move into your plant earlier or easier using the energy of the cosmos, as it's been said. That's really why we had to do the paramagnetic rock video, is so I could say energy of the cosmos is being channeled by paramagnetic rock into your soil mix. And that's actually what it does. Uh, the benefits of it are um, definite, uh, but many people think that it's still kind of a mystery. Anyways, uh, if you want to check out the paramagnetic value of your soil, you can find online a, a Phil Callahan soil meter. Uh, and if you want to learn more about paramagnetic rock, there's a great book called uh, Paramagnetism by Dr. Phil Callahan also. So uh, this is a little useful video for you so you could know a little more about paramagnetic rock and put some gray basalt in your mix for a lot of reasons. Normally paramagnetic rock isn't added for a mineral value but it does have all of these benefits so sometimes it, it comes in things, it comes in a lot of different places, it has a very low value. You want to look for, like I said, the gray basalt is probably the easiest to locate form of uh, paramagnetic rock. And uh, I hope this helps you helps you in your soil mix. I hope this helps you with your growing. Um, you know, there one more thing, earthworms. Uh, it's because of the energy in the soil on your outdoor cultivations, you're going to have an increase in earthworm activity, which helps with aeration and, of course, worm castings and uh, microbiology. And we're outdoors here in beautiful northern Michigan, and it's a little, little moist water in the plants today for the outdoor growers and the gorilla growers uh, uh, up here in Michigan. So, uh, anyways, that's a little bit about paramagnetic rock, and now I'm going to wrap it up and get out of the rain and uh, let you get back to mixing your soil please subscribe like our youtube channel or subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, check us out detroit nutrient company on instagram follow us uh, we're always running specials and cool stuff and check out our uh, web pages great lakes water only on facebook and uh, check out uh, detroit nutrient company on facebook and follow or friend detroit nutrient co and and uh, check out our website with all of our blogs and all of our growing videos at www.detroitnutrientcompany.com. Hey, thanks for spending a little time with me. Have a great day.